hello welcome to just prime as part of this video we are going to see how to create a new database or schema and a new table into the mysql workbench so these are the two things we are going to see it okay let's open workbench we will try to see it so this is the workbench and as part of the previous video we have seen how to install mysql database and uh, how to see the schema and corresponding tables we have seen it right <clears throat> so as part of this video we are going to create a schema or database first so basically we can able to create a schema or database in two ways one is directly you can use this workbench and another one is you can use sql script so the first one we are going to see how to create a schema so if you want to create a schema if you see if you keep your mouse over here you can able to see the tooltip as create a new schema in the corrected server right so it will display so let just click it so now we can see another window open and here you can see the editable field so basically it is the field for what the what is the name for your schema so i want to give std database <clears throat> so basically i'm trying to create a database or schema with name as std database once the name is clear you just apply so then what it will do it will try to create a sql script and you can review it and you just store it just for our purpose <clears throat> so it's generated automatically and the schema got created now once you apply and finish it so now we can see our std underscore database got created and this is the previously it's already available sys database so basically now we can see two databases are available one is default database sys and another one is newly created schema or database std database so if you see here these two observe very closely one is in bold color and another one is not in bold so basically whichever a database currently in bold color or black color meaning so that database is active in this server in this workbench so now to activate your database you just click it and you can make you just click here and you just read here load set as a default schema so now if you see here std database became a bold color and sys became non-bold so that means now student database is active right now we can close it's okay fine we have not selected it so let it be so now <clears throat> you explore it and you can see inside your student database there is no tables but whereas inside your sys database there are some tables so because this is newly created database and due to that we don't have any tables so now the second part is how to create a tables so tables also can be created two ways one is directly you can use sql bench options or second way is you can use script the simple way is you can use your sql bench directly and create it so now you can select the tables and come back here the second one if you see here right create new table in the active schema in corrected server right so click on it now you will get another pop-up saying that table name it is asking so i am going to give a table name as a student this is a table name i had given next i have to give the columns to give the columns you just click here and you will get another menu so here you can see the column name database data type or primary key not null many other things the first one i want to give the column name as id and it is trying to give the int as a default data type but there is so many different varieties of data types are available you just have a glance so now i'm going to select int as a data type and and i want to treat this as a primary key and also this i want to treat as a not null okay <clears throat> now the second column i want to create it as a name and it's trying to give default as a worker 45 and if you want you can change the data type and if you want to change the length also i want to make it as a 50 
and I want to make this as a not null and similarly I want to add another column as email and I want to make this as a also 50 so so that way you can select the whichever database sorry data type you are interested and apply the corresponding constraints so I selected this also not null so all the three columns are not null and ID is primary key and rest are not primary keys okay so this is the way you can add how many number of columns you want which are the data type you are interested and then apply so you can see here this is the SQL script it's automatically generating right so you just copy this one and you just keep it okay so this is done now finally you have to apply so it's saying it execute SQL statements success so finish it now come back here under tables you can see your student table if you want to see the data of the student table you just click over here and it is trying to execute a select statement directly execute it and there is no records so that means we just created new table and it's it don't have any data right so let me add one simple data so I'm going to give this Ramesh at the rate of gmail.com so basically I'm trying to enter one record and second record Suresh Suresh at the rate of gmail.com so these are the two records I have entered and then so so far this is not saved into database if you select over here it is not at saved it's gone because we have not committed it so make sure you have to enter the data and then commit also how to commit it so you can see here apply so then again it will generate a query for you just to review it apply so script execution is successful finish it now come back here run it so you can see id name email so if you add if you want to add one more record just come here and then and so this is the way you can able to add any number of columns into the database table and then commit it so let me come back so now we can see both the records are coming back whenever you execute select star or you can do like this also it will create a query and it will fetch the records so this is the way you can able to create the table and insert the data into this table okay <clears throat> so these are the two ways the other way I, like i was telling right so table can be created with the help of script and workbench option as well if you want to create schema without using workbench query so you can use here query c o u r s e basically i'm trying to create a new schema name as course database and then click on it So then come back here refresh and you can see here your course database and currently the course database is not active so you will not see bold color and if you open it over here and tables are empty right now to activate a particular schema you can use use course database execute it then course database will be active 
now to create a table inside the schema again the sample script you can take it keep it here and now we have to give your own database and now i am going to give course id description so basically i am trying to create a course table inside the course database the first name is id name not null and id is a primary key so you just select it run it and just come here refresh you can come back here you can see your course select here but right now there is no data into the course table let me add it course name is java and description i'm going to give java tutorial and second one is i am going to give SQL details so this is the way I can able to insert the records also and finally commit it it generate the insert scripts finish it finish it now you can execute your script select script again and you can see the your records back so this is the way you can able to create schema by using workbench options or scripts the same way you can able to create the tables using workbench options or the scripts so these are the sample scripts it's called generated or you can write with your own knowledge also and this is the two ways you can able to create the schema and tables i think that's all about this video if you like the video you can subscribe to the channel for more subsequent updates and thank you thank you so much for your time